Hey there. Welcome hey. to Drink in Texas. G. Roy Hill and Sparky Sparks here in Deer Park, Texas. Home of the San Jacinto Monument. Let me sit up straight when I say that. Where we won the war that changed America. And by we, I mean Texas. What did we get there? We got a little of uh, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona. California. California. Nevada. Nevada. Not a bad haul for whipping some boys ass then and then a little later in the Mexican-American War. Yeah, and that's really what did it, wasn't it? I mean, it's that we, we, we beat Santa Ana, and he signed off. He, he said, you got it. And then when they declared war on us again, we were we, a state, we, and we and We, we had the help of the entire U.S. government. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we got a little cedar fever going here, though. I the, thought you were just a little verklempt. Well, I, I, I did that as well. That's what made me do that, anyway. The, the G-Roy and I went up in the San Jacinto Monument today, viewed the battleground, and uh, gave us a greater picture of what was going on. We also did a drive-by of the battleship Texas because we had a gig and I couldn't go on and Glenn's so used to uh, being on a round and aboard ships that uh, he was like, yep, well, that's good enough. We better go to get to our gig. Yeah, and we did and everything worked out fine. It was, it was, a, great, it was a great time to arrive at our gig. So today we have something called a Cypress Cove Texas Whiskey, uh, made in San Antonio, aged for five years it says, 45% alcohol by volume. Okay, um, it doesn't really give us any other indication on this. We bought it at our favorite specs in Conroe and um, it, it was around 30 bucks as we try to remember. We've left the receipt in the car, so we don't really remember. Yeah, but, who knows? You know, it's one of those moderately priced, not way over the top, but a moderately priced uh, and not a uh, whiskey that, that we have gone accustomed to here in our drink in Texas. So, uh, a little neat. What do you think? Try a little neat. Just a splash. We're uh, still bemoaning uh, Robert Hustleman, Robert inventor Hustleman. of the Red Solo Cup. I don't think he invented his square bottom, but no, I no, no, no. Sure we don't, was... we don't knock him over much as we did. No, no, we didn't. All right, so a little Cypress, cool. A whiskey. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's got a, a little flavor of something, but it's not way over the top. No. Nope. You know, it's not a, it's not a flavored whiskey by any chance. Oh no. No, no. no. we we we've now it's had a some, whiskey. What did we have the other day? Oh oh oh, uh, we had a rum, but <laughs> it's gone. Uh, yeah, and it, just, it couldn't make it through till we could do some shows. It had a, a a very strong vanilla taste to that rum, and that was a uh, product of uh, whose was that? Ah, hell if I know, I but it made remember. a fine, a fine vanilla Coke. Coke. <laughs> it truly did. It was the cheapest one, and so we saved the expensive stuff for you guys. Yep. Anyway, um, that's not bad. No, I like it. I like it. Give Thank me up you with some rocks in there. But five years. That's a good yeah, age. Yeah, that, that, that's somebody that's paying attention to what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And they didn't just get about it. If they've aged it for five years, they're getting right in the middle of it. So we're down here in the Houston area, again, for the Super Bowl um, week, doing several events here and stuff. Our last one will be tomorrow. And uh, we'll probably shoot some shows after we uh, do that event. After well, I am the, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Even though we really, we don't have Texans and we don't have Cowboys in there, so we don't care. We really don't care, it's just a game, but we'd like to see a good game. And uh, frankly, I'd rather see the Falcons win because, oh well, yeah, they're Southern boys. 
and they've never won. So the deal is, is that if the Patriots win, big record broken, okay, five wins, big deal. And oh yeah, it'll knock Bradshaw right out of that saddle of uh, four Super Bowls that he took advantage of our Cowboys a few times. Yeah, he, he kicked their butts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the other deal is, is that if they lose, they'll be the only team that has lost five Super Bowls. So we got that going for us too. So it'll be a record-breaking day tomorrow, one way or the other. And we did a, a party on Thursday night, a couple of nights ago, for the Patriots. And we were really, really concerned that Brady would uh, make us check the PSI on our armadillos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah our saying. armadillos were inflated to the proper level. <laughs> they were inflated saying. properly. This is pretty good stuff, i got to say. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, I'm going to pour me a little more in here. I'm going to add some water. Okay, You're going to add some soda? Nope. Just some I more think have a, no, I think I'll have a some water. Little, little splashes of water. All right, but you know what? I can stand a few more cubes in here just because of uh, volume. No. There you go. About that. Good. That's good. There you go. Great. Thank you. Got to be really careful with the G Roy. You give him too many cubes, you might get cuffed. Just what? saying, a little shot at the ear. I'll oh. give you too many cuts. Uh, Cubes, you uh, know, maybe, could happen. maybe. We're having fun in Deer Park, Texas, even though we're completely surrounded by, uh, I guess, refineries, refineries and chemical, and chemical plants, plants and all that other stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty ugly down here from time to time. But a lovely little golf course. Yeah, we played yeah. the Battleground Golf Course yeah, here that in yesterday? Deer Park. Isn't that bad? But bring golf balls. There is so much water that the fairways slope into. It's just crazy. And not a lot of map on the car. <laughs> no, 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 no <laughs> GPS. Nothing, nothing to tell you what's up there around that corner. I just remember on number five, we hit into the water, and then we realized that the round number five was probably displayed over the creek. Oh yeah, on the map. It into. Well, no. So the only map we got of the course is on the card, and they have planted the whole number right where there's a creek running across the fairway. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Well, I'll tell you what. It's not like I needed a lot of help finding the water <laughs> while I was out Nor there. Nor did I. Nor yeah. Did I. If they ever invent floating titleists, we'll toast them with a little bit of Cypress Cove five-year-old whiskey from San Antonio, Texas. Good stuff. We like it. A couple of boys on the road. See you guys down the road. Yeah. Enjoy your coffee, Glenn. Yep, yeah, me too, Marky.